The road to democracy in the former Soviet Union is rarely straight. In 1996, respected journalist Matthew Kaminsky went to a hotel in downtown Kiev, Ukraine. There, he found a former pirate video entrepreneur who had somehow done well in the gas industry. Kaminsky was there to ask Yulia Tymoshenko how her United Energy Systems had gained control of 10% of Ukraine's gross domestic product, making her very, very rich. Fifteen years later, just a week after Tymoshenko was sent to prison, Kaminsky told her story. A story many people didn't want to hear. Writing in the Wall Street Journal, he related how former Prime Minister Pavlo Lazarenko gave her a gas monopoly. In return, her UES gave him $120 million. He told his readers how Lazarenko ended up in a US prison, but Timoshenko remained free to reinvent herself at the dawn of the new century. She left behind her Russian past and adopted the look of a Ukrainian peasant girl in time for the Orange Revolution. Then she became prime minister. By 2009, she was on really friendly terms with Vladimir Putin, and without consulting her cabinet, signed a deal with Gazprom that obligated her country to pay inflated prices for gas. She was tried and convicted for abuse of office over the gas deal, but claimed she was a victim of political persecution, and a lot of Europeans believed her. The Wall Street Journal has exposed this woman, who started life as an anti-Russian revolutionary, became a billionaire gas princess, and now Russia's best friend. <laughs>